Okay, in today's Let's Play series, um, I'll be playing Robocop, which is a arcade game which was released in 1988 by Data East Corporation. It was based on the 1987 Robocop movie, which was a box office hit, Robocop. released by Orion Pictures. We'll be playing this game. This game had pretty good graphics for a 1988 game, arcade game, and it was released on many different home computer and home video game consoles at the time. I played the one for the Apple II C. Actually bought that version, and I also had the Nintendo Entertainment System version of this game. The Apple II version really sucked. Really wasn't good. And the NES version wasn't much better. I mean, it was better than the Apple II version, but... Still not that good. Compared to the arcade, that is. They also had this game for the... Commodore Amiga. Never played that version. They had it for, uh, they had this game for the Commodore 64 and many other different ports. I don't like the three way shooter and gun. It's not very good. It's got a very low rate of fire. And the gun that Robocop uses is something called a Auto 9. I think it was based on the Beretta 92F pistol. Kind of like a modified version of that. Definitely was a Beretta, Beretta 92 pistol. You are under arrest. The Robocop's gun fired in like bursts of three rounds or something. But it was just a 9mm. Hence they call it the Auto 9. The good thing about this game is you could continue... You could continue where you died. Like that. If I died there, I continued there. I didn't have to start over from the beginning of the stage, which was pretty annoying. You are under arrest. Thank you. So this is a van bus, boss. Bunch of guys come out of the pack. Gotta get them all. Thank you for your cooperation. And like all, all arcade games of the period, all the instructions were on the arcade cabinets, as you can see on the left and the right. It's very simple. There's only two buttons for the game. This is the range uh, level. If you hit 100% of the targets, then you get all your energy back at the end. Got 
It's kind of like Shinobi's um, stage where you have to sh get all the ninjas. It's kind of like that. Did I get them all? Yes, 100%. Look at that. I used to play this game a lot at the arcades. Um, at the one at the mall, it was called Space Station. That's the arcade that I used to frequent. Used to go there every Saturday with about $5 and spend... Spend about $5 at the arcade in the weekend. Coming. Hydraulic press. You get your energy back by eating this baby food. Don't want to get hit by that one. Whoops, I can't get that gun. The difficulty of this game isn't too bad. It's not like impossibly hard or anything. It's manageable. For an arcade game, it's not... Not terribly bad. And you could beat the game because you, um... You are under arrest. always continue where you, you died. This enemy boss isn't terribly difficult. Very easy. Thank you for your cooperation. A lot of movie based games weren't really that great, but this game was certainly an exception to that rule. This game was good. <laughs> I did, did really good here. Number one, huh? Wow. The soundtrack for this game is also very good. I really like the soundtrack of this game. It's based on the movie soundtrack for Robocop. I think that's armor piercing ammo. Didn't want to get that. Hate three way. I think that's Dick Jones right there with that. I think that's a 50 caliber anti tank rifle. They didn't really have anti tank rifles. Maybe it's a 20 millimeter, I'm not sure. Anti tank rifles became obsolete 
in the early part of World War II, I think. <laughs> Got two more rounds, that's it. You are under arrest. <laughs> Another boss. I think this one's a crane with a ball with the wall on it. You are under arrest. Whoops. You are under arrest. You are under arrest. More quarters have to be inserted. Man, I'm trapped. This is a hard boss. That's a hard boss. I have to spend a lot of quarters in this part. If I had that anti-tank rifle, it would have been taken out much easier, much more easily. Okay, this level again. Eighty-nine percent. Not that good. They made a sequel to Robocop, I think. They had the arcade version. all my anti-tank rounds before I get that. The game does slow down when there's too many, when there's a lot of enemies at one time. I think this game used the same graphics engine as uh, Bad Dudes. 
which was another Data East game. Ed 209, I think. Whoops. Okay, there's a pattern to these enemy bosses. He shoots three times, goes back, launches rockets, and then you duck. Duck. Thank you for your cooperation. Although this is a typical side-scrolling 2D game, the graphics are very good for this. For 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 the for a game of its type back in. 1988. I think this is the last level. This game wasn't terribly long or anything. You just have to use a lot of quarters to beat it. I'm not sure if they had a Commodore 64 version of this game, but I'm pretty sure they did. If it was ported onto the Apple IIc, we definitely had it for Commodore 64. So all the ports for the different um, computers and home video game consoles were all different. So on the box of the Robocop game that I got for the Apple to see it showed the graphics for the Commodore 64 or the Atari ST version which was kind of misleading that was common practice back then For this level, you just have to be very patient. Just move slow and just be thorough. I think these are, I think it's two at 209s for this level. Whoops. His energy is not going down. That's, that's weird. Okay, that's one. So, Ed 209's main weapon was an automatic cannon. 
think it was a 20 millimeter auto cannon or something like that. If you ever saw the movie. This level you just have to be slow and thorough again. Just make sure you take out all the stuff at the top or above you. Just like that. Really can't avoid getting shot there. It's pretty hard. Let's do this. I think this is the last level. This is where you take out Dick Jones and end the game. <laughs> Insert more coins. I did beat this game in the arcade, but it did cost a lot of quarters to do it. Serve the public trust, protect the innocent, uphold the law. Okay. About Dick Jones. Thank 
Kirby. So in the movie, Dick Jones said, Drop your gun or the old man gets it or something. <laughs> I think that's it. If you have any thoughts, you could leave in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.